most of us are too busy to dedicate all our time to training for a long hike. So we have to train and do the best we can when we can. I don't go to the gym myself, but that's not to say it's not a benefit in training for a long hike. Lifting weights, going on the treadmill, and any other equipment you use in the gym can only be a good thing with your overall fitness. I do push-ups and I have a lifting bar in my garage where I do pull-ups. That's my gym basically for my upper body training. I ride my bike, I walk along the beach, I do intermittent jogging to get my heart rate up. But there's nothing in exercising in the gym or those exercises that can replicate what's going to happen on the trail when you're hiking through difficult terrain with a heavy pack day after day. This is my 30 litre pack I've been carrying today. This is what I'm using on my day hikes. Sometimes when I go up the shops, when I want to go for a walk along the beach, I take this day pack with me. I've got this towel here to wrap everything in. You can use whatever you like for that one. I've got this two litre hydro pack full of water. I've got a two litre platypus bottle, another two litre platypus bottle. So all that there with the pack comes up to nine kilos. I chose water to go in my pack, which is the most convenient. If you do use that, make sure all the containers you use are absolutely full. You don't want the water slopping around and giving you instability in your pack. You can use bags of rice, and then of course you've got something to eat afterwards. There's many things, I've tried sand once, and that doesn't seem to work, it's too dense. But bags of rice work. You can use blankets, towels, whatever. But don't use kettlebells or any weights of any sort. They don't work. They, they're not, they don't distribute evenly and they're more of a hindrance than anything else. You won't get a true reflection of the weight you're carrying if you use those. Tomorrow I'm going for a longer hike and I'm going to be taking the pack that I anticipate using and I'm anticipating that my full weight with food and water is going to be around about 18 kilos. That's the maximum weight I'm hoping to carry but if I can bring it down from that weight that'll be good. I weigh 84 kilos so 20% of my body weight is about 16.8 kilos. A general guideline is to be somewhere between 16 to 25 percent of your body weight that you carry in your pack. Of course that's only an arbitrary figure. It depends on the individual. If you're young and fit you might be able to carry a lot more weight. The thing is if you only weigh 60 kilos and you're going to carry 20 percent of your body weight can't carry very much. If you're 120 kilos in weight, you should be able to carry twice that weight. But can you? That's the point. How fit are you? So everything is down to the individual, how fit you are and what weight you're happy to carry on your long hike. This will be my routine. In the last few weeks, with this full pack weight, my nine kilo 
pack white. I'm gradually building up from that to this full pack white. Hiking all terrains. Going up a steep terrain at the moment. That's what I've got to get used to with a full pack weight. A couple of weeks before the long hike, I'll do a shakedown hike, which basically means I'll take everything with me, probably over a long weekend, hike and camp out and test all that gear. That's down to my hiking shoes, socks, everything in my pack, including food, is what I'm going to be taking on the long hike. Last few weeks, I've probably packed even five kilo over the weight I intend to take, so that when it comes to go on the hike, psychologically, my pack will feel lighter. I'm playing a mind game with myself, but I've done it before and it really does help to start off on your hike feeling that your pack is a bit lighter. Now all these things I've told you, they may seem like a chore. And in some ways they are, but you've got to get yourself fit for your hike to enjoy it. And after all, that's what everything's about in the end having fun and enjoying yourself in all weathers, all terrains, just embracing the whole thing. Don't go too hard too soon on the long hike. Try and start off with shorter days. Basically, you're walking your way into fitness. And the last thing, don't forget to take your trekking poles. Okay, if you give the video a thumbs up, that'd be great. The usual thing, if you subscribe, that'd be even better. Okay, hike and seeker, take care. I hope to see you on another video soon. Goodbye.